All right, today we're going to be installing this uh, new Weston bull bar on our 2020 uh, Ford Ranger. This, um, of course, works for 19s, 20s, 21s, and 22s. I don't know about 23 yet, uh, but if you know, tell me in the comments. So it looks like our attaching points are going to be at where our factory tow hooks are. Um, this was extremely well packaged. I was very impressed with how it came in the mail. Not a ding, not a scratch. It was very well protected when they, uh, when they shipped it. Um, there's some brackets and some bolts. The only thing that I'm not impressed with so far is the instructions. They look a little bit, uh, incomplete. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's do this together. All right. So the first thing the instructions say is to remove the factory, uh, what are these tow hooks? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to remove the factory tow hooks and we're not going to be reusing them. It looks like the brackets are going to bolt in here to the frame where these tow hooks are. So the first thing we have to do is take this rubber boot off. I'm going to see if I can do this without taking the front bumper cover off um, and without taking this uh, spoiler, uh, air spoiler off because um, the instructions don't show that. So I'm going to see if I can do it without it. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is kind of untuck the edges of the starboard boot that go around the tow hook and take that out. And I should be able to access the two bolts. There's one there and there's one in the back here. You might be able to see it better from this side. Yeah, there's the other one. I'm going to see if I can get to them without taking anything else other than this rubber boot. So we'll see. All right. I was able to get it off without removing anything else. Um, so again, took the, uh, the whole rubber boot off. It just slides up and over and then the two bolts. Instructions say they're 17 millimeter. They're actually 15 millimeter. So uh, Again with most of these factory upgrades the instructions seem to be less than adequate Which is why I make these videos. So anyway, we've got our factory tow hook off You can see our bolt holes there and we're gonna go remove the one on the other side next. All right, so we have our bracket here Here's our bracket um, This is marked with a P right here and the other one is marked with a D So we know this is the passenger side and it mounts here. Now the instructions show that we have to cut away a portion of this um, air deflector right here. I really don't want to do that, um, but I guess that's the brakes. Um, you can see though that with this bracket, when you slide it in there, you can't slide it in far enough without it hitting that. So it, the instructions, which they're not very good pictures in here, but it does say to trim the section directly below the tow hook. Now, I don't think I need to cut out that much material. It shows cutting out the same amount of material as the width of this opening, like that. I don't think it's necessary to trim that much out. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut it, but I'm just gonna start with a notch just wide enough to slide this in here. If I have to notch it bigger later, I can, but that's, that's the plan. All right, I've got my uh, area that I'm gonna cut out. It's this square right here. I just marked with painter's tape down straight down from that side of the the frame here and this side and uh, I measured down holding the bracket up here to see how far I had to cut down to get this other line so I'm gonna cut this out with a jigsaw I trust the old black and decker I've had this thing for years um, you can use a cutoff wheel if you want here I don't trust them and I don't wear like wearing a lot of safety uh, equipment as you can see by my flip-flops so I'm not gonna try to get uh, face shield and all that out I'm just gonna use the uh, jigsaw to cut this out and go from there all right, I've got that notch cut out. Uh, the jigsaw worked really well, went through it just like butter. Um, this thing vibrates around a lot while you're cutting it, so it's kind of hard to keep an eye on where your tape line is. But I've got a pretty decent cut. I like how straight it turned out. I'll clean up the edges. I've got some burring here. I'll clean up the edges with the utility knife later. But for now, I just want to make sure this bracket fits. All right, I've got the, uh, the brackets installed on both sides. This is the driver's side one. Still did that same notch out there. Um, and again, I'm going to clean that up. I didn't torque these bolts all the way, the four, uh, two on each side, because I'm going to bolt it on after I get the bull bar up there. Here's the bull bar. It's going to go directly to here. There's some extra support brackets here. Um, I haven't determined whether or not I'm going to use them. Or not. I don't think I am. This bull bar actually doesn't weigh very much. I can lift it with one hand easily because um, this is all solid. I'm sorry, it's not solid. It's, it's hollow tubing. So it doesn't weigh very much. Um, be honest with you, I'm doing this mostly for looks on my truck. So if you're going off-road or actually pushing anything with your ball bar, um, go ahead and use those support brackets. But I don't think I'm going to install them at this time because um, I don't want to have to modify my bumper saying uh, I have to use a couple other bolts. But uh, I might update that later in the video. But for now, I'm just going to install it without these uh, extra support brackets. All right, so I've actually got the bull bar installed on here. There's two bolts that go on either side here and here. Um, 
And I was actually able to lift this up myself. There's the other two on the driver's side. And I did clean up the cutout in the air dam uh, with a utility knife to kind of deburr it a little bit. But I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I was able to hold it up myself and kind of put the kind of put the nuts in one at a time at a time, uh, one at a time. Wow, I can't talk right now. Um, Cause I'm pretty excited about how this looks. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was able to bolt it up myself. If you have a helper, by all means, it'll probably be a lot faster, but I was able to do it myself. And uh, it looks pretty good from each angle. And it is sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Um, but here is the, here's the view from the side. Um, and then I'll probably show another picture of it once it's down off the ramps. But here's the view from the front. It looks pretty good. Uh, no complaints here. The instructions were a little bit foggy, but that's why I do these videos. Um, so comment below uh, what you think about this new bull bar. I'm pretty happy with it. And um, I'll see you in a little bit.